Let us begin on this Thursday morning, though, with President Obama honoring the return of 18 Americans killed in Afghanistan this week. NBC's chief White House correspondent Chuck Todd has the latest on this. Chuck, good morning to you. Good morning, Matt. Well, the president left here the White House just before midnight and arrived in Dover at about 1230 uh, to greet the C-17, which was carrying these 18 flag draped remains, as you uh, noted in the opening. Uh, all of these Americans were killed on Monday, 10 of them in the helicopter crash. That was seven U.S. soldiers and three federal agents. And then the eight other soldiers that were brought over on this C-17 uh, were killed in a IED blast. Uh, the president participated in four of these solemn events uh, where these remains were taken to the uh, Air Force mortuary. One of them, of course, was uh, where the media was allowed to uh, show the footage of this is the family of Dale Griffin uh, from Terry uh, Hot, Indiana, allowed the media to do this. That's the pictures that you're seeing on camera right now. As you know, the president lifted the ban, uh, uh, the media ban on these ceremonies when he came into office. This was something, of course, that the previous administration had not allowed the media to participate uh, and video any of this any of this footage. The, all of this comes, he got back about 5 a.m. this morning, a little before 5 a.m. All of this comes as the president decides whether to send more troops uh, to Afghanistan, and it's a decision that he may be making in the next couple of weeks. And Chuck, you know, when he met fam family members last night or early this morning there in Dover, I'm sure there was a lot of emotion in that room, but also there may have been some tough questions for the president right. as he weighs his options in Afghanistan. That's right. You know, this is the first time that he has gone to Dover as president, by the way. This is something that uh, I'm sure is one of these things that, you know, only presidents uh, understand what it's like to, to, to talk to a family member of a U.S. soldier, trying to explain to them that their son or daughter didn't die in vain. It can't be, uh, it's got to be among the hardest things right. that any president has to deal with. We're told that he's going to make this decision in the next couple of weeks. He leaves for Asia, Matt, on November 11th. The Afghanistan runoff election is on November 7th. One would assume that that's the window we're looking at, 8th, 9th, or 10th. All right, Chuck Todd at the White House this morning. Chuck, thank you very much.